Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and uh, today we're going to be doing the Axial Sequential Marker Lights. Now these marker lights from Factory, they're all great and everything, but for individual LEDs, clear and like white. It does not go with my blackout. Um, I mean, not at all. So I ordered the Axial Sequential Lights. Now this is going to be totally different. It's going to change everything. Not only are they smoked and look phenomenal and are just factory fit. Absolutely perfect. Now I ordered these off of americantruck.com and uh, run about 50 bucks, 50 something dollars US. Um, now they come with clear instructions and everything looks very simple and easy. But usually there's nothing super easy about everything. Like I said, clear instructions, what to do. All you need is a T15 Torx driver. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you how to install this. Now, I've seen other YouTube videos and um, I've seen people jam screwdrivers under the mirror to remove it, uh, all kinds of stuff. Now, I already did the other side. So, here's my take on the whole thing. Push out your mirror, okay? All the way push the two top straight up okay now all it is is a bunch of clips underneath you're not gonna need a screwdriver it's just gonna pop right off okay so it's a lot easier than it looks all right so all you do is put some a little bit of pressure on the top of your mirror uh, frame here because if you do this it's just gonna come back obviously okay so here we go and it's off it's just really that simple, okay? Clips, and that's all it is. All right, guys? So, now, you're gonna have four screws. One, two, three, four, all right? So you can obviously remove those. All right, now, what do you do with this? No, I would not recommend removing these wires, okay? I did not remove them on the other side. I already did the other side. I did not remove them, and I'll tell you what. I tried removing them, and things started to go a little weird and I didn't want to rip anything off or whatnot. So now you can hang it, it is just gonna hang. No fear, no fear. Anyways guys, so um, I'll show you as I go what I'm doing. Now, like I said, you need a T15, very simple. Remove all four screws. There's one, rest it on your sill. Two. gotta be gentle nothing by force guys nothing by force force does nothing but wreck stuff there you go. And then number four all right now put these aside and I do have a quick suggestion for all this. All right, so now instead of taking off the mirror, and you don't really want it to hang while you're taking off all the other stuff. Oops, just lost a screw, yay. So uh, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put the mirror back, and we're gonna put it against, there we go, and we're gonna just leave the mirror right on the sill so that it does not fall off, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna carefully start taking off the back because all our screws are out. There we go, and that will just pop off. Again, be careful, there are wires in here as well, and you will need to unhook this one, okay? So this one's not a big deal, it's just gonna come off very easily. All right, let's press that up here. And this is it, that's all it is. Now there's one clip here. Press the button and remove. And that's literally how easy that was. All right, guys? So we take, here you go, see? Exactly the same. I actually find that uh, the foam around here is actually better than factory. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug it back in. Make sure that everything lines up correctly, obviously. Plug that back in. All right, and now we're gonna take this and we're gonna plug that back in. 
This is like uh, maybe a 10 minute job altogether, but it's gonna make a lot, big, a big, a huge difference here. All right, guys, it's gonna look awesome. All right, so now make sure everything is correctly lined up here. Make sure you don't pinch any wires, obviously. It. all right so there it is lined up it's inside the hole just like factory now we're just simply gonna put everything back carefully everything's back just like that and that was less than what 10 minutes not even five minutes I'll make sure that everything lines up absolutely perfect you don't you don't want to be uh, re-screwing stuff and all that we're gonna go back out and let this hang again and we're just gonna put all our screws back there we go one at a time and that's basically all it is guys there's really not much to it here but it's gonna make a huge difference in the end it's gonna look phenomenal now the uh, sequential meaning that it's gonna be an orange like a stripe a strip I guess you could say and it's gonna go from body out so when you put your signal on it's gonna look way better than the original that was put in there from factory and obviously it's gonna look wicked with my blackout now i am missing a screw so pardon me guys i'm just gonna look for the screw for a second there we go found it and that's it now i'm gonna turn on the truck and we can take a look and see how this looks I did not turn them on yet, so we're doing this together. All right, don't over torque, obviously, but make sure that they are all tight. All right, now, simply what we're gonna do is make sure this is straight, okay, and Gonna make sure that we're perfectly center. That's it. So do this and make sure that it's in there. Okay, guys, you want to make sure it's put back properly. If you want, what you can do is push up, look underneath, and then make sure all the clips are in as well. All right, guys, and that's about it. Uh, it's looking much better, and uh, there's the install on the axial sequential marker lights. Now, let's see what this looks like when it's on. All right, let me turn on the truck. guys so um, what happened was there was a little bit of an issue with the contact so uh, I went in checked it out make sure everything was okay and uh, it's working all good now uh, let me show you guys what this looks like all right let's do this and there you go guys that's phenomenal so much better than the factory so much better than factory 
All right, guys, that's going to be it for this install. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for uh, watching my channel. I appreciate all the views, always. Uh, so if you like what I did and what I showed you guys, hit like and subscribe and hit that notification button because I have four more modifications that I will be doing very soon. Now that the weather is better, I'm back. All right, guys, uh, once again, thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.